down to one. Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Joe is going to try to finish off this boss. I'm going to die! You probably are. I've watched you do it many, many times thus far. That's why I saw the other so. boss fights. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it, it wouldn't have been as long with me just sitting here trying to figure out what to do. I don't know. The race one. I wasn't even in his zone! You were definitely in where his rumbles were. Where his rumbles were, but I wasn't, like, touching his sprite. Yeah, but I would have counted on the rumbles to break you. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be bad already. Um, well, <clears throat> we're back. <laughs> and Joe is desperately trying to fight these three maggots, saying it's not as bad as anything, but still dying. <laughs> Well, I mean... <laughs> Still dying. It doesn't feel as hard as the uh, race was. Mm. The, the poop race. <laughs> you died maybe more, but I felt like that was more dynamic to watch somehow. I don't know. It's in my past. That's really what it is. Sounds like you're just being a grump. I'm always... I'm always grump. <clears throat> um, oh, shit. So some other interesting things from my time at PetSmart. Did, did you know that um, hamsters when they are establishing dominance, will eat each other's brains. <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, a lot of rodents will actually do this, but hamsters are known for it. Um, they have soft skulls, and when one hamster wants to assert himself in a group of hamsters, as is often the case when you have a thing full of male hamsters, uh, a cage full that you're selling, um, one hamster will attack several other hamsters, break their skulls open, eat their brains, and then leave a nice little hollowed out skull cap and a corpse for you in the morning. Wow. Hamsters are vicious. Yeah, that I knew, <laughs> but never to that extent. Wow. Yeah, it's terrifying, man. Like, it's really bad. Um, it, I mean, it's just so sad, right? Like, How did he not die? Uh, that's he's, unfortunate. He's in. He touched. It's not fair. Um, so that's that's another lesson from Pet Smart. What else can I say? We had birds that lived in the store for for ages that would just get out of cages and like you can't catch that when you're in a warehouse style store. You know, <laughs> like you just let it go. <laughs> you're fine, fine parakeet. You live here now. <laughs> like you have to feed yourself, but that's okay. There's always broken bags of seed on the floor. Um, there was the guy who worked there the longest, who just did the like stocking. He didn't do anything else, and he would always tell us whenever we had to like help him stock uh, on the pallets and stuff. He would tell us the stories of the PetSmart goblin who lived in the steel. Well, they both did that. I've never seen them do it before. Oh yeah. Bastards. You're learning. Uh, what, start that one again? <laughs> I think we're here to start that one. Uh, the PetSmart go Goblin. Okay. That's all. There's a guy who claimed there was a goblin who lived in the, like, racks of surplus in the steel. Uh, how'd you guys deal with that? Uh, we didn't, because he was friendly. He just watched us. That oh, was the thing. He was the watcher? Yeah, he was the... <laughs> yeah, but he uh, he hung out there, and uh, and occasionally that, I guess, caused some mischief at night. That's what we were told. But <laughs> we never met the, uh, the PetSmart Goblin. Um... There was the two-week period where I ceased to be Nick Nundall, and I became Jack of Steel. Oh, oh, sorry, Jack O'Toole. Sorry, Steel was in my head from the other thing. Oh, this is way easier than uh, it was, apparently. Jack O'Toole yeah. was a character I developed uh, because I was bored. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I wanted to answer the phone in a fun way. So we had to answer it this stupid catchphrase of, Thank you for calling PetSmart, where pets are family. This is Nick speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> and that will, like, I will be senile and losing my mind, and I'll still be able to re recite that phrase because it's so burned in. And I got so tired of saying it that I started just answering the phone as, Thank you for calling PetSmart. This is Jack O'Toole speaking. <laughs> and, uh, well, thank you for calling PetSmart, where pets are family. This is Jack O'Toole speaking. And, um,. It, it just became this like this thing that I would always answer every call, and a manager challenged me to like to never break character because <laughs> she was also bored, <laughs> and she made me a name tag that had Jacko Tool on it, and then the name tag printing like label printer also had symbols for whatever reason, so she did like hearts and stars and <laughs> rainbows, <laughs> and this carried on for like two weeks where I was Jacko Tool with every single customer who came through the cash register and I kept the accent up and uh, you know, 
Ah, the nature's miracle. We can help you find that. It's right over here in the corner. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and um, so I was really like, it, I mean, it made work fun, right? In a terrible job, it, it made it fun. Not terrible, just monotonous job. Sure. Um, and then this British lady came in. And I was still doing the accent because there's no way I could drop it. Like, other people had heard me do it. I couldn't just suddenly drop it. So I had to carry it out through her. And then she asked if I would help her carry her bags to her car. And I did. And she just wanted to, like, chat me up. And I was so concerned that she was going to be like, Oh, you know, when I was in Britain, I went to Ireland. <laughs> and, like, what part are you from? And I started, like, in my head, like, trying to think of places I knew about. I was like, uh, I don't want to say Dublin. That's too obvious. Get uh, tour. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I had planned out, like, in this panic, all of the things I could possibly say if she started asking me questions about Ireland. And then she just, you know, after... She talked to me for a long time, but mostly about her animals kind of thing. A lot of PetSmart customers like to do that. Um, and then she eventually just let it, you know, drop and she left. Like, <laughs> she never asked me anything about my elaborate backstory I was having to plan out on the spot. But that was the one, the time where I was like, okay, this is too much pressure. Jack of Tools gotta go. <laughs> and I finally got rid of him after that. Thank you for calling PetSmart, where pets are family. <laughs> this is Jack of Tools speaking, how can I help you? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I didn't try any other accents. I did occasionally put on a rocker voice when I would have to do the like closing announcements. Like, hello, PetSmart! <laughs> we'll be closing in five minutes! <laughs> you know? Man. And uh, I had one manager who really didn't like that. <laughs> we usually Epic Spell Wars again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're Epic Spell Wars character. Epic Spell Wars is a card game where... Well, I mean, it's a card game tabletop game style um, so you have you have to buy it you can't just get like regular cards but you each card that you're gonna have in your hand is either a one two or three slot part of a spell so like the beginning middle or end of a spell and you combine a beginning middle and end or any two pieces if you don't have that or any one piece if you don't have that and um, create a unique spell to use against your enemies who are all of the other players and they are some of the best things. You'll have, like, a spell named King Oberon's Multicolored Testicle. <laughs> yeah. Testicle is the only last one I could think of. I was yeah. like, what? what, what, what Testicle is do? the best yeah. one. I also really like um, the one that just ends in Fiery Chicken. Because <laughs> it's like, you have a chance of doing 1 damage or 10 damage in a game where you start with 20 health. So 10 <laughs> damage is amazing. Um, but more likely you're going to do just one. <laughs> it was such a good job of just amping it up so fast. Like, you start off and, it's, and, and then you're at, like, five hit points on, like, turn two. Yeah, and yeah, it's... it happens in no time. And then, you know, you die and you get back in and play yeah, again. it's fun. It's, it's really so fast good. paced. I highly recommend Epic Spell like Wars. A lot of board games that are very complex have a trouble, like, making the game short. But that yeah. game's, I yeah. guess, not super complex, but it has a lot going on. Yeah, and it's still and it's still like fast paced. Like, I guess the overall session you're supposed to play multiple games of it. Right, exactly. And, and we had a t tendency, I think, to like start to get tired of it when you like you get towards like everybody has a win and you're waiting to see who's going to win the game for good by getting a second win. That can be tough sometimes, but that's kind of like a built-in rarity. Like usually, you don't have that happen where everybody at the table gets one. You know, mm -hmm. um, Joe, you're killing me on this level. It's hard. Um, but anyhow, yeah, good game, and I uh, highly recommend it. I think if we talk about it too much more, though, it's like, <laughs> hey, here's this game we're not dealing anything with, and <laughs> and we have no reference point to share with you if you don't know what it is. Yeah, so. but you should check out Epic Spell Wars. That is, yeah. that, is oh, where yeah. we, that is where we end that segment. Yeah, that segment. This has been discussing Epic Spell Wars on Instant Replay Live. Game board. If, <laughs> if, <laughs> game board. if you'd like to hear more about Epic Spell Wars, um, go buy it and read about it. Because that's probably the best way. That is the best way. Yeah. And if you'd like to hear more about board games, well, there's plenty of shows for that, too. <laughs> um, tabletop, Will Wheaton, right, everybody right, right. knows. But there's a lot of... Like, I know that episode that you were just referencing of IT Crowd makes fun of board game reviews because there are so many. But there are some really good ones out there, too. Oh, no. I think it actually. I think it just makes fun of bad board game reviews. Yeah, yeah. Of which true. there are many. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Oh. Well, Joe. I think we should need to beat this. I mean... You can't 
and <laughs> just beat this. Well, I mean, I, I think we can't, like, have multiple episodes of this, though. Well, we're about to. <laughs> yeah. This is two episodes of it so far. So. Uh oh. Alright, we'll give you this one because you're on the last worm. No, I'm not. Oh, aren't you? No. Oh, I thought I saw two die. Maybe you died and then came back in real quick or something. Anyhow, we're giving you this one opportunity to to make it happen. If you just had one shot. Might work. Spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> If this strategy does work, stand still and do nothing else. Well, I gotta jump, jump when it does the thing. in case maggots come, or he jumps. Oh, but it would've worked! Joe. I'm what? so upset with you right now. Why? <laughs> Why is standing still the way to beat this boss? Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta do this one a little bit more cleverly. Okay, jumping in place, at least, is the way to beat this boss. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We spent 15 minutes or more dealing with this. 16 minutes at least. Over two episodes. <laughs> and it turns out this is all you have to do. Just... I mean, I gotta get the jump just right. Just cheap spot him forever. God, that even seemed... Yep, there it is. Bam. Nailed it. Thank you for watching Instant Replay Live where we... Oh, hang on. Cutscene. <laughs> we can't skip this. I, in fact, I always end up talking over these about what is not the cutscene, but I love the cutscene so much. Yeah. Although it has worked out pretty well, too. I would watch a cartoon of this. <laughs> I totally would, yeah. I wonder why he hasn't tried to do any more, like, animation or anything. Uh, Alright, that cutscene was, like, the most disappointing cutscene. Yeah, it wasn't a good one. We built up <laughs> so much. Thanks for watching this replay live. Goodbye. Were you blowing a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, audience. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.